And it does have a uh, eMaker chip and it tells us it's a Thunderbolt 4 cable. Supports 50 volts at 5 amps. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'll be taking a look at this. It's the Treedix USB cable tester and it's the TRX5-0816. Now, I've already reviewed a USB cable tester from Treedix before and that was this one here which I enjoyed very much but some people said that it's a bit uh, difficult to understand what all the LEDs meant and um, I think Treedix agreed and so they brought out this one here which they've uh, sent in for review and it's slightly more sophisticated we have here a little LCD screen and at the back of the box nothing too uh, interesting this is just batch number US-0001 other than that the box is fairly basic right let me unbox this and um, let's take a look at what's inside the packaging we have the uh, manual let's take a look at that good to see English on the front And uh, here is the Amazon page for it. A little bit about uh, what it's capable of. Some of the EMAC functions. I'll cover all this in this review. But on the Amazon webpage there are, are no actual reviews on there. But if you go onto the USA website there is one review but it looks like it was taken down because it was a fake review. Okay, on to the rest of the video. Right, let's take a look at the uh, Treedix USB cable tester itself now, shall we? Let's have a look at the uh, sides here. Here we have a tiny little button which I presume to controls the uh, menus. And then we've got a slider here, turn it on and off for the battery. And then we have a USB-C port here. I think that is for uh, power. And then at the bottom we have a lightning port which you can test your lightning cables in. Can you see? And then we have a mini USB port here. Normally I've seen these on um, some peripherals. Joystick controllers from Sony and things like that. And we've got the uh, pretty common USB Type-C port here. And then we come across this here, which is a micro 3.0 USB port. And next to that, we've got the micro USB 2.0 port, which is pretty common. Then on the side here, we have a USB 3.0 port, which is a Type-A port, very common. And also next to it, we have another Type-C port for testing. So, you basically connect these with these here. And let's have a look at the back. Here, we've got the battery, which is just a AAA battery. So, we've already got the cellophane on there. Now, we should test it. So what I'll do is I'll remove the wrapper and uh, turn it on. Okay, the wrapper has been removed from the battery. First time I'm powering it on now. It's time to get some cables and test this out. Right, I found a cable now. And I've turned down the light slightly so we can see the screen a little bit better. This is the cable I'm testing. I'm going to start basically with the Type A to micro 2.0 cable first of all so let's plug this in here and then plug the type A end into the side here and instantly we have 
some information tells us uh, it supports data transmission at USB 2.0 speeds and it has some basic power transmission functions I'll press the uh, function button at the side tells us uh, we have a ground and two uh, data ports connected and the VBUS which is uh, power basically 5 volts press it in again and we have 200 milliohms which is not very good so this cable is not brilliant okay on to the next cable next up I've got this cable here just a type C cable I don't know the specifications of it just one final in my drawer no e microchip detected okay um, it's only a USB 2.0 cable it does have basic power transmission this is uh, the configuration okay surprisingly it's quite lengthy but the resistance isn't too bad 187 milliohms okay let's go on to the next cable next up I've got this cable here which is the UGOD Thunderbolt 4 cable it's quite short see what it does and it does have a uh, e chip and it tells us it's a Thunderbolt 4 cable supports 50 volts at 5 amps USB 4, Gen 4 and Thunderbolt 4 40 gigabits it supports and everything is lit up USB 3.2 is supported power uh, delivery 3.1 um, everything is lit up basically we got a nice and short term um, resistance at only 89 milliohms is pretty good let's try the next cable right I've got this cable and this is just says 40 gigabits 240 watts type C and at the back here we have some extra stuff 8k ultra HD right let's see what it does Um, okay, we've got all the green lights here. Data transmission 3.2 and uh, power delivery 3.1. Okay, everything green, that's good. 110 milliohms, really good. Nice, good short resistance. And this one identifies itself as Thunderbolt 4 as well, and USB 4 with 40 gigabits so I think this one is best best uh, cable so far due to the length I've got another cable this time type A to uh, mini USB and, uh, there we go USB 2.0 and basic power transmission there it tells us which ones are connected here we've got data only ground and VBUS 168 milliohms so it's not great next cable I have is this cable here which is a type A to micro USB 3.0 so let's connect it and see what happens here we go we've got uh, data transmission USB 3.2 speeds and then it's identified it as a micro B 3.0 there's all the pins connected have you noticed that the ground flickers on and off yeah so it's interesting it does update in real time
got uh, no um, resistance test on this cable, which is a bit strange. Next up we have this, which uh, basically has a, a few ports, but m I'm more interested in the uh, lightning port here. Here we go. Identified it as lightning, okay. We got ground to do power. Very high resistance. So that's probably because there's a lot of cabling in here. Right guys, it's time to conclude this video. Well, overall it's quite a functional little device. Um, compared to its predecessor, it's got a nice display on it. It's got a few extra features like the resistance test. And um, you can also read the eMarker chips on the uh, device as well. And it'll tell you how much uh, current it can, uh, the cable can take. Um, but it also comes at a cost. It's about four times more expensive compared to the uh, predecessor. But it's only something that you'd actually buy once um, for your toolkit. So the old one I used it pretty much uh, all the time. Anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, see you next time. Cheers. Thank you.